Hi guys, welcome back. This is episode 41 of You Can't Win Anything With Kids. As you can see, it is the 20th of January. Um, we're sitting third in the Premier League. We've got Man City, the uh, another big Manchester derby, who are 10th. Um, we've been going pretty, pretty well. Quite happy. Maybe we could score a few more goals and not let a few less in, but we, we're, we're looking pretty good. European football is definitely on the cards, I think. Um, let's see how we've gone since we left. Um, yeah, we obviously had that episode. It was quite hard. We lost against Leeds, Man United, then Liverpool. We came then back and we beat Arsenal 2-0. Mikaji and Gurney getting in on the goals there. Uh, we then beat Leicester 3-2. That one was a little bit too close for comfort. Um, all three goals in the back of the net. The shots on target. Sims, the man there, scoring the winner for us. Uh, we then beat Sheffield United 1-0 with a George Nakaji penalty. What a boring game that was. Um, <clears throat> thank God I didn't show you that one. We then pumped Wolves 4-1. Etten, Gurney, Thompson and Heath all scoring, which is excellent. Uh, we then beat Nottingham Forest 1-0 with uh, Smith grabbing a goal and pretty much just being the best player on the pitch in another boring game. God, we're playing some boring games. Uh, we then drew one all with Newcastle. Our only shot on target going in the back of the net. George and Kaji obviously getting on the score sheet again. Whew, rattling through these. Uh, we then played a Mansfield in the FA Cup and we were <laughs> pretty, pretty damn close. Uh, load, the Christian Load, who's a new player, who have just given that one away. Anyway, we then obviously got pumped by Leeds again. It was just diabolical Jack Newell getting sent off after four minutes uh, and then we just I mean, it was over it was over after 20 minutes it was 3-1 it was just an appalling game we, we were there we've come back today for the Man City game obviously like I said we've got Doncaster in the fourth round of the FA Cup and Tottenham who are 16th who are like really struggling actually no that's Manchester City uh, Tottenham who are 16th only six points above the relegation zone so maybe we can pass some pressure on them um Speaking of teams under pressure, Aston Villa and Watford were the two teams who came up with us. Villa are just, they're going straight back down. And Watford are at least fighting bravely. No one's doing as good as us. Uh, transfers. We have got in one, two, three, four, five new players. Um, Gary Taylor, just a youth player. 16-year-old striker, obviously. He's incredibly slow, but whatever. He's 16. Uh, Stephen Kov... Kovarik, Kovarik, 18-year-old Czech forward. A lot of double-digit stats here. A lot of double digits. Good work rate, teamwork. And, you know, he's a work in progress, and he's already worth 1.3 million. So we'll see. And the other thing is, he can play uh, anywhere across that front three. We also then have 16-year-old Thomas Brown, who paid 50k from from Swindon. Um, yeah, he is a fast, fast striker and could be pretty good. Still 16, so very raw. Um, Christian Lode, you kind of saw him before. Norwegian midfielder. I felt like we needed to bolster that midfield up, although looking at his league stats, he's been pretty poor. Great in the cup, um, <clears throat> but he, he looks pretty good. He's creative, determination, he's got good pace. Uh, and the good, thing, good teamwork work rate's a bit low, but, you know, uh, he's been playing quite well in, I'm assuming it was Norway. So hopefully he's just adjusting to life in the Premier League. The other man there coming from with the Sporting Club de, de Lyon, not not the Lyon. These guys must be like, oh, I don't know, League 2? League 2. Ligue 2, I think it is actually called. Anyway, so he's come from there for 1.2 million. Bilal Fournier, 19-year-old French midfielder. Another French midfielder. Another midfielder. Great work. Uh, great teamwork. 20, strong, stamina. A lot of double-digit stuff here. Balance, he's brave, he's creative. I, I think he's a good player. And at 19, he looks pretty good. Uh, we're going to pay them another half a million once he plays 10 games for France. And he's been killing it there for Sporting Leon. So once again, a little bit of adjustment there moving into the English Premier League. Um, future transfers. We've got a few here. All these guys will, um, you know. We'll just tease those names, but they're all coming in on the Bosmans. We'll show you them at a later date. Ooh. Um, those names mean nothing to you, so whatever. Uh, Stats-wise, um, yeah, even though we're third, I mean, Trevor Redmond is playing 
amazingly and if you think I was you know looking to sell this guy at some point god that was stupid um, he's really blossomed in the last two years especially this year that is amazing um, King Dean playing under a seven for the first time since his debut season um, it could just be that step up to the Premier League and the fact that he's uh, not quite there and is not getting any better but mm, we'll see Geordie again still sort of struggling we're not 100% sold on him uh, Alan Thompson is the rock an absolute rock in that defense um, he's an amazing player absolutely amazing uh, Dan Heath playing pretty well with a 7 oh, that's Alan Thompson again uh, pretty well with a 7 rating uh, as well there so that is good to see uh, Mark Lewis is coming in because <clears throat> Jack Newell has been dropped to the bench after his red card he has dropped below a 7 as he was playing quite well um, before but he's got 5 assists so I'm still unconvinced I, I don't know about Jack Newell but we'll see uh, we'll, we'll give Mark Lewis another chance to impress. Bill, Bill Fournier, Fournier we've spoken about. Scott Smith, the 26-year-old Scotsman, who's been here now for five years and who's been a bit of a bit part player, has finally turned around and said, no, actually, I like playing in the Premier League. So uh, he's playing his best football since he came to us. James Sims, 22-year-old, uh, 20, who we paid $5.5 million for, uh, he's really started to uh, come into the team. He's playing on the left. I know he's not left-footed, but, you know, he's playing as an inverted winger. Ha-ha. <laughs> Will Gurney, obviously, is under a seven again. Uh, he's obviously not super suited to this right-hand side, um, but, you know, needs must. And, obviously, big George Nakaji up front is having a banger season uh, and, uh, and scoring goals. I think if we have a look in the... Um, Everyone else is quite low here with the ratings. We've got some players here who are sort of struggling, who we may have to move on. But player-wise, player um, Martinez, who we had comment from, uh, was killing it. Yeah, he's killing it. What an amazing player. Look at these transfers. Bizarre. Um, but goals-wise, Big George, he's fourth in the league and only one behind uh, Chiesa and this guy who I've never heard of. How about, mm, interesting. Uh, anyway, um, let's let's go and play the city game. I've talked for enough. We're seven and a half minutes in. Um, so today we're going to line up Redmond in goal, Heath, Dean, Etten, Thompson, Lewis at the base of the midfield, Fournier and Smith, Sims, Gurney and Nakaji up front. Sean Stewart, Liam Miller, Chris Stuckey, Christian Lode, Jack Newell, Ryan McIntyre and Sean Kavanagh make up the bench. Now, I think we've only played Man City once before, and that was earlier this year, and they dropped us 2-0. So, we would like to get one over them again. They've still got Edison in goal there. Uh, Zivchenko. Um, uh, that name rings a bell slightly. Uh, anyway, and Jack Grealish. Yeah, I think we spoke about this last time. Maybe... Uh, and in Aketia, amazing. I just paid 40 million for him from Everton. He's playing pretty well. Anyway, let's get the game off. Let's get the game off. That's a weird, a weird thing. Get the game off. Anyway. Ah. Oh. Eddie Nketia. Did I call him George Nketia before? I can't remember. Oh my god. Harvey Elliott now. Uh, we're not having much luck against the other Manchester clubs this season, are we? We're really, really struggling. Really struggling. It's diabolical how bad we are against them. And to be honest, I don't know how we've been going so far. Our form has been really patchy. Even though we had those wins, we're not really creating a lot of chances. And that shows with those goals scored of 44. It's the same as Man United. Um... You know, and you're looking down here, these teams here. I mean, even Everton, I mean, Christ on a crack, even Tottenham has scored 50. Sheffield United has scored more than us. I guess it shows that our, our defence is rock solid, but no one here is doing anything apart from Trevor Redmond, and he's let in two goals, so that's not good. Um, oh, no. Just, just going from bad to worse absolutely bad to worse Kane Dean and Alan Thompson are having absolute shockers <sighs> Scott 
Smith's got an injury. We've got to take him off. We'll do this. Um, I can't take my captain off, can I? I can't, even if he's playing poorly. I can't. He's being skinned down that right-hand side by... Uh, the right-hand side, left-hand side by Elliot, obviously. We haven't even troubled Edison. Oh, uh, I was saying that, but then load, 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 loady, loddy, lordy, loddy, loddy, lod, load, something like that. Anyway, loady probably. Um, he's gone and got a consolation, but we were poor once again. We were poor. Ugh. I really got to stop bringing you back for these games where we just. Uh, we just lose. Dan Heath, discipline him for poor performance as well. That was pretty poor. Board directors are unhappy. Thompson feels his warning was harsh. Great, that means he's unhappy now. We've been treated unfairly. Grow up. Ugh, right. At least we can get a bit of a win here against Doncaster. Thank God. All right, we're back for the uh, game against Doncaster. The players need a little bit of a little boost in morale here. They, uh, we've we've shipped. Let's have a look at the morale actually. Um, okay, Dan Heath is just very low. We've shipped seven goals in two games. We're going to rest Heath. Um, we'll give McIntyre a shot. Donnelly there. I am going to drop Thompson because he's just having a whinge. Um, Lewis got an eight last game. We'll leave him. Uh, everyone should be okay. We might just put on the bench. Uh, oh, Colin Burnett. Do not remember signing him. He can have a go on the bench instead of old Bobby McGuinness. Listed for loan. No one's going to take him though. Right, we're going full strong here because uh, it's a it's a Saturday game, obviously fourth round of the FA Cup, so um, we can we can sort of risk it. Burnett, thirty nine, uh, good. I don't know if we've ever played Doncaster. I should have checked. Uh, no one there. I, I know this guy, U Udinese. Yep, yep. Had him before a few times. He always throws a hissy fit or two, but he's a good player. To be playing in where Doncaster. Oh yeah. Championship. Alright, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Maybe good job I didn't take them for granted. Um We've never really done well in the FA Cup. Uh I mean this is the first year in the Premier League, so you know, but still I don't think we've ever had a really good run in it anyway. Uh and after twenty two minutes we're still really, really bleh in attack. That's how I describe our attack now. It's just bleh. We're screaming for a penalty then, apparently, and we got none of it from Dale Tizzy. Get in, Fournier. Bilal. That's better, that's better. The, obviously, that man, man Dragora, who I, who I clicked on. Obviously, meaning... The fact that I click on him obviously means that he's definitely going to score. Should not just click on any players. Get in, Sims. Uh, everyone's looking pretty good. Will Gurney. He's got a shin injury. Let's get him off for Starkey. Uh, Scott Smith. Come off. Come on, one more just to just to wrap it up. And yeah, there it is. Big George smashing the header home. That's what we like to see. Uh, yeah, this is turning out to be a bit of a comfortable win actually, which I'm, I'm happy for. Um, and there's George getting another one. Nikaji. Nick Hadge, Nick Hadge. I'm going to say Nick Hadge. 
Nick Edge, Nick Edge, whatever. Big George, get in. 4 1 over Doncaster. That was pretty standard. The board happy, obviously. Uh, it's good that we've sort of turned our form around. Not quite in the league because we haven't won in three now. Uh, and we've got <clears throat> Tottenham next. I probably will bring Thompson back into the team. Um, uh, yeah, that's probably going to be it. And we'll, uh, we'll, we'll push forward to that game. Uh, we'll come back for the fifth round FA Cup. Leads off. Uh, Leeds, who we have an absolutely appalling record against. Um, played them three times. They've thumped us three times. Once was in a friendly. We scored two goals against their eight. So I guess the FA Cup is over. All right, well, we're back for the final episode, final episode, final game of the episode against Tottenham. Um, pretty much an unchanged team, really, um, from that first game. Alan Thompson is coming back into the team, even though he is unhappy because he got a five, and I said that was crap, and he was like, ah. Oh. Um, and Cosman Illy comes on the bench for the suspended Jack Newell. We've only played Tottenham once in our history, and we beat them 4-3. Allison. Kick pity, he's pretty good, isn't he? I can't believe he's never been capped. He has been capped at a B team level, though. Uh, still got Davison Sanchez there, interesting. Oliver Skip, um, good player. Delhi Alley, god, he's 32, still looks pretty decent. Uh, Chong, obviously, of Manchester United. Um, this guy, I don't know who he is. To just Yes, good finishing. Allison in goal as well. Weird, they picked him up on a free. Um, just play the game. Just keep the game off. Stop looking at other people's teams. You know what's going to happen. It just means that all those players you click on are now going to score, and it's going to be like 9 0. We're fourth. We've dropped down a spot, obviously, after losing that City game. Man United have overtaken us on goal difference. Spurs, meanwhile, are in 17th. Seven points clear of the drop zone. They are in a spot of bother. Probably will be okay because Forest and Villa are quite bad. Um, once again, nothing happening in this game. Very, very tight. One shot on target from Tottenham. That's got a I feel sorry for the fans in this universe coming to these games. Is it just us? Are all the teams like this? Is this what happens now? Get in. Bilal. I told you you just needed some time to adjust. Sims is alright. Oh, he's been playing really well lately. He really picked that up after a poor, poor two games. But, um... Oh, Kane Wilson. How? It's so weird. He's come from Forest Green via Grimsby and Huddersfield. Get in, Gurney. I say one of the originals. I guess he's one, one, one of the original issues. What, what, if we think about it, it's Championship, Championship, League One, League Two. I'm pretty sure he's National League with us. It's amazing that he's he's gone all this way. He's our top goal scorer as well. Anyway, um, doesn't look anyone's injured there. Scott Smith not playing well. This could be the end of his. <clears throat> I was going to say career, but no. Let's bring Liam Miller on. Has been really quite poor. Hasn't scored a. Oh, he scored one goal so in the Premier League. Hasn't started any games. Um, See if he can do something. Take the game really away from Tottenham here it would be great. Probably that down to 26 now actually because that would have been. Oh no! 
that Greek lad. Bloody hell. Don't you lose this now. Oh no. No, 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 no. What has just happened? What has just happened? This is our problem. We don't we're not getting many shots on target anymore. We we, we score them. We score our shots on target, but that's that's a big win for Tottenham and a bad bad loss for us. We we are now what's this one two three four games without a win in the league, three losses in a row. Oh my God, we got Everton, Aston Villa, Chelsea, Southampton. We've really got to turn this around. I think guys will probably come back. Uh, yeah, we might come back towards the end of the season and see what's happening. See if we can. God, turn this bloody form around because if we can't we are in big big trouble big trouble anyway guys i hope you're enjoying the series uh if you enjoyed that episode please hit that like button um and if you're not subscribed i don't know why you wouldn't be at this point surely you're subscribed by this point um but if you're not definitely subscribe it is well worth it and i'll catch you guys next time bye